defenders who have been outstanding during the playoffs, Saeed Bakhtiari and Caleb Suri. Louisville in the black and gold. They control the kickoff. We are underway. Savick in the circle, dumps it for Gabera, and it hits the top of the glass and bounces out of play. We hope you can hear me all night, because the folks here are going to be making some racket, especially if things start going well for the invaders. It's all down to this one game. Oscar Pisano, Canton Redline, now Vosmeyer, back edge of the midfield circle. Ahead to Kia in the Louisville zone. Kia fights with Savick for the ball. Savick comes away with it, dumps it back to Hillenkamp, and now Surrey in the goal box for A.J. Lakowiecki. Outlet on the right side, it's too far for Bakhtiari, and here comes Pisano the other way. Pisano around one. 
And slides, tries to dump it in the box. It's dumped back in, hit in by Gabera and controlled by the keeper, Lakowacki. Ahead, red line, Helen Kim. Now on the left side at midfield is Savick. Lead ball for Gabera. Gabera and Tima fight for in the corner, and Timmy comes away with it. Tima dumps it over to Pisano. Oscar will come out of the Canton zone with it. The Invaders with Louisville dropping back on D. We'll try to bounce the ball around and find the open spot in the Louisville defense. We've played one minute at the Civic Center in the fifth and deciding game. Surrey dumps it in the goal box. It's controlled by Lakowacki in the Louisville end. Outlet comes straight ahead to Hillenkamp. Back edge of the midfield circle. Picked up by Kia. Sweeps it left side to Surrey. Surrey in the invader zone. Down along the touchline. Centering ball blocked out of play by Bobby Vosmeyer. And Louisville will put it in. Touchline left. We've got 13.44 to play in the opening period. The Invaders nothing, and Louisville nothing. One of these teams will walk out of here with a championship tonight. Line changes for both teams. Defenders Mike Paxos, Walt Schlothauer for Canton. Tom Kondrich at midfield with a forward Steve Frick and Randy Pikasinski. It's Hamlong and Hayes up front for Louisville. Mike Paul at midfield. Janos Mahalik and Paul Cato on D. The ball is rolled around the corner in the boards and controlled in the box by Jamie Swanner. Short outlet on the right side to Kondrich. Tomo out across the invader red line. Fall waiting for him at midfield. Tom moves to the middle. Stops. Turns. Still dribbling. Now backs it up on the right side at the red line to Paxos in the invader zone to Schlothauer. Walter ahead for Randy Pikasinski. Mahalik with him. Now back at the red line. It comes to Schlothauer. Walter. Amlong on D. Lead ball for Frick. Knocked away by Cato. Hayes comes the other way for Louisville. Hayes feeds left side to fall. The pass is cut off by Kondrich. And here we come the other way. Randy Pikasinski with it at midfield. Back it up at the red line to Schlothauer. Through the circle. Pass blocked by Amlong, but Walter will chase it back. 12.56 to play in the first quarter. We're scoreless. Lead ball, Randy Pikasinski. Red line of Louisville. Sweeps it on the right side to Kondrich. Tomo on the point. Back up it comes to Schlothauer. Walter sends it in the air in the right corner for Frick. Back to the net on Cato. Steve Frick coming outside with it to the point. Off the sideboards at midfield to Schlothauer. Walter, front edge of the circle. And the ball is blocked by Hayes, taken by Amlong, and dumped back in the goal box for Lakowacki. Long lead, Hayes up the left side. Paxos is with him on D. In the Canton zone, the ball for Fall. He dumps it in the right corner behind Amlong. Amlong comes out front with it. Schlothauer got inside. Frick with a steal, and Schlothauer dumps it in the goal box for Swanner. That brought the crowd to life. 12-12 to play in the first period. 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio. Radio home for Invader Soccer. Tim Tima off the bench of the line change as both teams switch off. And the original starters are back in the game for both squads, except Cato is still on and Surrey hasn't gotten off the bench on the line change for Louisville. Invaders lead pass hit the referee. Cato dumped to midfield, headed away by Vosmeyer. Tima sweeps it right side to Kia. Kia backs it up, Timmy Tima. Lead ball, he wants Rudy. It's over his head and caught on the one-hop by Lakowacki in the goal box. A.J., long lead midfield. Gabera has it there. Knocked away by Kia. And Bossmeyer puts it up in the air away from Savick in the goal box for Swanner. Outlet off the left sideboards comes to Oscar Fazano at the Canton red line. On the run, ahead to Pikasinski. Pikasinski and Surrey collide, and the holding foul goes against Caleb Surrey. That's the first foul on Louisville. Center in front of the box and knocked away by Lakowacki. Here comes Savick. Savick with Pisano and Bosmeyer back on D. Savick shot blocked by Pisano right out to Pikasinski. Here they come two on two. Rudy and Kia into the Louisville zone. He shoots and it's blocked out of play by Bakhtiari as Rudy had some good power on that shot. Savick, Bakhtiari, and Surrey for Louisville. Bosmeyer centers for Pikasinski. It's picked off by the keeper, Lakowacki. AJ looks right, throws left. Red line for Helen Camp. Helen Camp midfield for Gabera, the player coach. Gabera front edge of the circle, right side of the Canton red line. Helen Camp chased down in the corner, centering ball for Bosmeyer, knocked away. And it's out front to Savick. Savick, red line, couple of steps in on Bosmeyer, and a bad pass off the post up by Helen Camp was knocked out to midfield by Kia. Lakowacki waiting for it at the red line. Now Surrey to Savick and back to Surrey, midfield circle, Helen Camp. Up in the air for Gabera. Gabera on the right side against Pisano in the Canton zone. Gabera doesn't see Kia from behind. Ball knocked away, but Kia's going to get whistled for the foul. The team fouls even at one apiece. Chris Hellenkamp will put the ball in play for Louisville. Right side to Surrey. He winds. He fires. It's out of play. And that will be a corner kick 
for the Thunder as it was touched by one of the invaders as it went out. Ten minutes and 20 seconds to play in the first quarter. No score in the fifth and final game of the American Indoor Soccer Association Championship playoffs. Camp to trigger it in from the left corner. Centers, and Swanner grabs it and holds on. Gabera had a piece of it, but couldn't do anything with it, and Jamie able to cradle it in his arms and control ahead to Vossmeyer. Louisville backs up. They wait at midfield as Vossmeyer comes out across the Canton red line. Ball knocked away by Bakhtiari, and Fall can't control as Tima takes it away. And they dump it back in the goal box for A.J. Lakowiecki. 9.55 to play in the first quarter. Lakowiecki outside the box. It comes left side to Mahalik. Mahalik on the run across midfield into the Canton zone. Pikasinski knocked the ball away. Mahalik gets it back out at midfield to Mike Fall. And Cato eventually chases it down at the red line. Tips it back to Lakowiecki. Ahead midfield it comes to Mahalik. Janusz Mahalik on the right side to Cato. Cato tries to get it out front, and the Hayes couldn't get the shot away because Pisano and Vosmeyer had pinned the ball. And Bobby Vosmeyer comes out with it for Canton. Lead ball down in the Louisville zone, and there will be nobody home there as the Invaders are changing lines. Frick and Randy back out out front. Paxos is on on D. Vosmeyer and Tima still in from the other line. It's uh, Amlong down in the Louisville zone. Pocket picked by Vosmeyer. It's dumped out to midfield. Cato is waiting there for Louisville. Frick on him. Cato cuts inside, Vosmeyer deflects, and Mahalik in his own end heads it back. Midfield circle it is to Mike Fall. Nine minutes to go in the first quarter. Ahead for Hayes, it's too far, and it was deflected out of bounds by Hayes after Vosmeyer got it first. Invaders will control. They'll complete the line change now. Eight minutes, 56 seconds to play in the first. No score in game five. Big crowd at the Civic Center. This is the kind we've Really should have had all the way through the playoffs, I think. Walt Slothauer to trigger it in for the Invaders. He's in on D with Paxos. Kondrich is at midfield with Frick and Randy Pikasinski up front. The defenders for Louisville are Mahalik and Cato. Fall is the midfielder. And the two forwards are Tom Hayes and Gary Amlong. Slothauer red line on the right side at midfield. It comes to Paxos. Lead ball for Kondrich. Kondrich working on Fall. Tomo, right side, and they collide, and that foul is going to go against Tomo on the push. And Fall puts it in play, and Walter with a trip on Amlong, and very quickly the Invaders up to three team fouls. Louisville with only one, 8.39 to play in the first quarter. Cato will put the ball in play on the right side. Cato, ahead it comes for Hayes, and it's knocked back out to midfield in the circle. Mahalik there. Sweeps it back to Cato, dumps it to Lakowiecki. He sends it ahead. It's too far for Fall, and Schlotthauer waits for it in the invader zone. Walter has to back it away from Hayes and bounces it in the goal box for Jamie Swanner. Outlet right side midfield for Steve Frick, and Frick is pushed by Hayes, and that's the third team, or rather the second team foul on Louisville. 8 20 in the period, still no score. Mike Paxos, back edge of the midfield circle for Canton. Paxi, ah, Frick broke the other way. It's intercepted by Mahalik. Louisville attacks three on three. Mahalik's pass blocked by Kondrich and cleared back into Louisville zone. Lakowiecki waits for it and it rolls in the goal box for him around the boards. Outlet short of the right side to Cato. Cato out across the red line. Eight minutes to go in the period. Long lead. They want Amlong, but Paxos has position in the corner. Paxos trying to get out of a double team. The ball squirts free and Frick's got it for the invaders. And back in the goal box. Swanner wanted it, but Schlotthauer stepped in front and says, I'll take that. Here we go. Schlotthauer on the run, across midfield, around one. Louisville red line, the right side feed for Randy in the corner. Bakhtiari clears. And Amla, oh, Cabrera put it back in the box. That was almost over the head of Lakowiecki. He holds on, ahead it comes. Helen Camp, Cabrera shoots, kick saved by Swanner. Beauty by Jamie. Savick taps the rebound outside, it comes to Surrey. Surrey, bad pass for Savick, taken away by Schlotthauer. Walter, spin move against the boards to get away from Zoran Savick. And in the goal box, it comes to Swanner. 7.15 to go in the first quarter. No scores. Paxos clears the zone for Canton. Now Vosmeyer into the line change. And the Invaders with uh, Pikasinski, Rudy, and Kia up front. Rudy and Randy Pikasinski, the, pick, the brothers, will be our guests at halftime. Tima got out of a double team against the boards. Surrey and Pikasinski collide. Ball loose. Whistle foul and the holding call goes against Rudy Pikasinski. And that is the fourth foul on the Invaders in the period. They have only one to give now with 6.51 to go. In period number one, two fouls on Louisville. A.J. Lakowiecki, outlet comes midfield. And Gabera could not get to the ball because Pisano had position. 
And Oscar will take it down in the invader zone. Louisville backing up on D. Pisano comes out across the red line. Cabrera waits for him in the circle. On the right side, it goes to Vosmeyer. Vosmeyer ahead for Rudy Pekosinski. He's bumped by Helen Camp, but it comes back to midfield, and Pisano has it in the invader zone. 6.22 to go. In the first quarter, still no score between the invaders and the Thunder. Pisano, lead ball for Tima, working left side and back to the net against Helen Camp. Out front for Kia, and Kia will take it back outside the red line away from Gabera and give it to Pisano. Gabera comes out on Pisano, and Oscar will dump it back in the invader zone to Swanner. Now red line on the left side in the Canton end. It's Pisano. Lead ball for Rudy, knocked away by Surrey, and here comes Savick up the floor for Louisville. Savick, Vosmeyer backpedals. Ball knocked away from behind by Pikasinski, controlled by Swanner. And Savick tried to push his way through a couple of invaders, but no dice. Swanner, long outlet to Kia. Kia working against the boards on Helen Camp. Moves out, clears it on the left, right side of the corner. Nobody home there except Surrey, who heals it in the goal box for A.J. Lakowiecki. We've got five and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. No score. Lakowiecki, lead ball midfield. Team knocks it away to Pikasinski. Hits him in the heel, and it's knocked away, and Helen Camp ends up with it. Pikasinski and Surrey have been jousting with each other all series. And they each may have gotten away with a push on that. Surrey with a push first. Helen Camp centers. Tima deflects. And Pikasinski had the ball knocked away by Savick from behind. Rudy chases him against the boards. Now Gabera out front. Shot blocked by Tima. And it comes back out to midfield to uh, Saeed Bakhtiari. Right point area to Savick. Centers out front. Gabera turns. Ball blocked by Pisano. Loose in the corner. Tima will control there against Helen Camp. There's a shot and a save by Swanner. And Pisano... Blocked the rebound attempt by Helen Camp. Kia's got the ball at midfield. Kia trying to get inside Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari with a push. And that will be the third foul on Louisville and a timeout on the field. With four minutes and 44 seconds to play, the Invaders nothing, Louisville nothing. We come back in a minute. Are the fouls. Four for Canton and three for Louisville. And four minutes and 44 seconds on the clock. Nobody has found the back of the net so far. It has been a penalty-free game thus far here at the Civic Center. Good crowd on hand, probably better than 4,000. Lots of folks on the stage. $4 seats are about full in the middle. There are a few empties, but not many. And the noise level has been cranked up a little bit here. It will really rise if the invaders get on the scoreboard. Happy birthday, Steve Frick wishes to Cindy Bolin. Also a happy birthday to Rachel McDowell, a little early. She'll be 11 on May the 10th. This is our last broadcast, so happy birthday, Rachel. Uh, hello to Harvey Reinhardt Sr. listening to the game tonight at Altman Hospital. Harvey, we wish you were here. And a special hello to the blind lady and Invader fan that talks to Lynn McDowell all the time. Glad to have you aboard as always. Jamie Swanner with the ball in the goal box, and he comes out to the red line. Jamie out across the red line. No pressure on him from the Louisville defenders. Frick and Randy running a weave out front. Jamie clears. Cato had it intercepted. That's a three-line violation. Jamie caught that in the net. It looked like good, but that wouldn't have counted even if it had gone in because it was a three-line violation. Condridge to put it in play from the Louisville red line. Randy Pikasinski out front, back to the net in the corner. Spins out of a double team. Randy on the point. It comes to Condridge. Inside, fall, fall, pick it away. And Mike Fall up the left side of the floor. In the middle, it comes to Hayes. Hayes through the midfield circle. Randy back on D with him. Hayes across the Canton red line. Down the right side, sliding play by Randy to knock it away. Hayes got it back and promptly put it in the stage. And that'll be a goal kick for the Invaders with 4.02 to play in the first period. No score here. Invaders at Louisville. This is the deciding game in the championship playoff series. They are dead even at two apiece in the best of five series. Here with 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio, radio home of the Invaders. Our last broadcast of the year. We've enjoyed it. And we do appreciate all you folks who've been with us all year long. We hope we got the positive result for you at the end of the night. Jamie Swanner in the goal box. Comes out with it. Swanner out near the red line. Crosses the red line. 
Puts it in the air in the corner. Kondrich off his chest, right side of the Louisville zone against Paul. Hayes over to double team. Kondrich got inside both of them, looks to center, came out behind, and Cato knocked it away. Schlotthauer dumps it left side for Frick. Frick trying to get inside the double team, does. Randy had it knocked away out front. Now Kondrich shoots, and that's blocked by the play by Hayes. Some good opportunities, Randy and Frick getting jostled around up front a little and couldn't get the shots away. But the Invaders will get a corner kick from the right side. 3.23 to go in the period. Kondrich will trigger it in for Canton. Tomo to Paxos. Paxos on the right side. Wines fires. That one was blocked by Hayes. Schlotthauer to Randy. Tried to head it in the corner. Paul heads it out. Hayes heads it back. Paul with the ball at his feet. Kondrich on deep. Bad pass taken away by Pikasinski. Randy crosses with Frick. Randy moves to the right side. Heels it for Kondrich. Tomo working on fall down the right side. Got inside. He shoots. And Lakowiecki with a save out front. Long lead for Hayes. Hayes down the left side in the invader zone. Paxos with him step for step. Hayes trying to get inside. Hayes does get inside. The ball deflected, but Hayes fires it wide to the right. 2.50 to go in the first quarter. Amlong centers. Ball knocked away by Paxos. And a sliding play by Randy Pikasinski to knock the rebound away from Amlong into the waiting arms of Jamie Swanner. 2.39 in the first quarter. Still scoreless at the Civic Center. Tom Kondrich with the ball at the Canton red line. Ball is on him defensively. On the right side, it comes to Pisano. Both teams are changing lines. Oscar Pisano now matched up with Zoran Savic. Right side at midfield to Frick. Or rather to Tima. Tima ahead, it comes to Rudy. Rudy in the corner. Shot through the crease and no. Comes out front. Kia couldn't get it. And coming the other way is Jim Gabera. Gabera across the red line and dumps it down in the Canton end. Pisano and he in a race. Pisano gets there first and steers it in the goal box for Swanner. Jamie looks upfield and then drops the outlet straight ahead to Pisano. Two minutes to play in the first quarter. Oscar across the red line. Crowd trying to drum up some business for the Invaders. Left side midfield is uh, Vosmeyer ahead to Rudy Pikasinski in the corner. Rudy and Surrey fight for it there. Surrey has it knocked away by Vosmeyer. Knocked away in the corner by Lakowiecki and Hillenkamp eventually controls for Louisville. Dumps it out to midfield. On the run is Savick, but Pisano will step in front, head that ball on the ground a couple of times and come the other way. Oscar Pisano spins to the left side, lets Savick clear on D, and the Invaders will try to get organized with a minute and a half to go in the first quarter. Still no score. Bossmeyer ahead, Louisville red line to Kia. Kia backs it up to midfield. Bakhtiari with him. They dump it down in the right corner for Pikasinski. Rudy shot in the save against the left post by Lakowiecki. Outlet comes to Zoran Savick. Savick with a minute 11 to go. Into the Canton red line. Bossmeyer backpedals D. Shot Surrey wide to the left. Follow score by Zoran Savick. And Louisville takes the lead on the goal by Zoran Savick. And the assist by Caleb Surrey. The time of the goal will be 13.54 of the first quarter. Zoran Savick now has four goals in the playoffs. And Caleb Surrey has four assists. And Louisville leads 1-0. 13.54, the time of the goal. We're back underway. Minute one to go in the period. Invaders dump it in the Louisville zone. Kia, left side to Tima. Tima working on Helen Camp off the boards for Pikasinski. Surrey will dump that out to midfield. Gabera trying to get it away from Vosmeyer. And I think it hit off the glass and went out of play. They didn't call a foul on that. But Louisville will put it in play with 47 seconds left in the first quarter. The Thunder leads 1-0 in this final game of the championship series. Surrey near the red line. Back it up in front of the goal box to Lakowiecki. 45 in the quarter. Bakhtiari midfield. Ball knocked away. Here they come. To Pikasinski. Knocked away by Bakhtiari. Up over the glass and out of play. Boy, if that ball's just a little bit shorter, Rudy's one-on-one -on, -one on the goalkeeper. A little bit too far, and Lakowiecki able to get out there and kick it out of play. 38 seconds to go in the first quarter. Louisville one, Canton nothing. Left edge of the midfield circle comes Vosmeyer. Ahead to Pikasinski. Right side, Vosmeyer. And he's ridden away from the play, but Vosmeyer gets it back in the corner, and his feet is knocked over the glass and out of play. That'll be a goal kick for Louisville with 28 seconds to go in period number one. Invaders trail one nothing. Lakowiecki taps it outside the box to Bakhtiari, back into AJ. Lakowiecki outlet midfield to Gabera. Gabera got behind Bosmeyer but lost the ball. 
And now they fight for it along the boards. And Bossmeyer took it away in the goal box to Swanner. 15 seconds in the first quarter. Jamie wanted the long lead. It wasn't there. Here comes Pisano. 10 seconds in the quarter. Pisano working on Gabera. Six seconds. Oscar around the boards for Rudy. Out front. They can't get the shot away. And the quarter ends. At the end of one period, the score, the Louisville Thunder won. And the Canton Invaders nothing. We come back in a moment. Starting the second period for Canton, Randy Pikasinski, Steve Frick, Tom Kondrich, Walsh Schlotthauer, and Mike Paxos. For Louisville, Gary Amlong, Janusz Mahalik, Mike Fall, Tom Hayes, and Paul Cato. Invaders, the home team, they'll control the kickoff to start the second period. We had no penalties in the first quarter. The fouls, four on Canton, three on Louisville. The scoreboard, 1-0, Louisville Thunder. On the goal by Savick and the assist by Caleb Surrey at 13.54 of the first quarter. The Invaders will try to do something about that right here in the second period. This one will decide it. Whoever wins this game wins the championship. Gertie and Randy Pikasinski will be our guests at halftime. Also, uh, PR director Paul D'Angelo will slide over here from the television booth to talk to us. Ball is dumped back. Kondrich puts it ahead for Randy Pikasinski. It's headed away by Mahalik and then knocked out of play by Frick. And Louisville will put it in. That took six seconds off the clock in the second quarter. Cato dumps it back for Lakowiecki. And A.J. scoops it up in the goal box. The outlet, Canton red line, right through the legs of Hayes. Paxos clears it back down in the Louisville end. Lakowiecki is out to look for a feed. He clears it out to midfield. And Hayes fights for it with Paxos there. Hayes down the right side into the Canton zone. Shot wide. Amlong's follow. Scores! No. No goal. It was a handball. You do not count the goal. It hit Hayes in the hand. And you do not count the goal. And you mark up a foul for Louisville. The score stays 1-0. Excellent call. Alert play by the officials. Coming up the floor is Frick in the Louisville zone out of a double team between Cato and the ball swept away by Amlong. Paxos gets it back at midfield. Hayes knocked it in the glass, over the glass out of play. Into section uh, 14. It'll be Canton's kick in. Left side of the midfield stripe. Right in front of their own bench. It'll be Schlotthauer to put it in. And his pass is blocked by uh, Amlong. But back it comes to Paxos. Uh, head in the corner for Frick. Frick left side back to the net on Cato. And Fricky trying to maneuver out front. Stops, turns, pins the ball. Back inside in the corner. He gets inside. Shot in the box. No. Cato tries to clear. Frick got it away. Whistle. Foul. Push on Frick. And the team fouls even at one apiece. We played a minute eight of the second quarter. 13.52 remaining in the first half. Louisville won. Canton nothing. Cato pushes it ahead. Intercepted by Randy Pikasinski. Randy ahead for Frick. Frick inside. Cato looking to center. He shoots just wide to the left. Rebound comes out to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer had the ball blocked by Amlong. Walter got it between a couple defenders. Amlong will try to clear. And you got a foul on Schlotthauer. Trying to get around Amlong. That's two on the Invaders. 13.36 to play in the second quarter. Louisville won. Canton nothing. Only goal came in the first period. Zoran Savick scoring for Louisville. Mahalik to put it in play for the Thunder in their own end. He sends it out long. That's over everything. Three-line violation. Take it back to the Louisville red line. Invaders need a goal to get themselves back in here and get the crowd ag ag agitated again. Schlotthauer will put it in play. Ahead to Frick. Frick posted up out front. Now back it comes to Schlotthauer on the right point. Paxos down in the corner for Fricky. Back to the net on Cato. And Frick maneuvers out to the front side with it. Taps it out of the right point to Paxos. Paxos dumps it for Frick, who's now in the left corner. Tries to turn. Ball knocked away by Mahalik. Randy got it back for Canton. Mahalik got it back again. And Mahalik clears to midfield, but Schlotthauer will keep it in for Canton. I had to Kondrich on the right side. Kondrich working in the corner on Hayes. Kondrich turns, looks out front, doesn't pass. Now does out on the point to Paxos. 12.58 to go in the first half. Schlotthauer. Left side at midfield. Amlong out there with him. 
Up in the air for Randy Pikasinski in the corner. Randy, ball knocked away by Mahalik and swept out to midfield. Amlong's got it there for Louisville and the Thunder on the attack. Amlong, Kondrich with him. Sliding play by Paxos to knock it away. And here comes Kondrich. Tom Kondrich, left side at midfield for Paxos. Maxi will back away because the Invaders will change lines. Keo off the bench to control. Taps it back to the red line for Bob Vosmeyer. Vosmeyer waiting for the line change to be completed. Left side, Rudy Pikasinski back to Vosmeyer. And now Pisano is out on the floor and he has the ball at midfield. Pisano pushes it ahead for Rudy. Rudy working on Cato. Rudy tried to center it. The ball was blocked up in the air. Headed in by Vosmeyer. Lakowecki knocked out of the box by his own defender. That'll be a handball. It's not a, a two-minute foul because he was bumped out. It is a foul, though, and the team fouls even at two apiece. Right outside the corner, the left-hand corner of the box, the Invaders will put it in play. Vosmeyer over the ball to trigger it in. Vosmeyer, Tima shot blocked and cleared out by Gabera ahead to Savick. Savick midfield ball is blocked by Pisano. And Hillenkamp controls for Louisville. Back to Surrey. Key is on him off the sideboards for Hillenkamp. Down in the corner, Gabera. Gabera centers. Swanner taps it ahead. Tima controls and leaves it back for Jamie Swanner. Long lead for Rudy Pikasinski. Working on back to Yari. Left side in the Louisville zone. Rudy around the boards. Bakhtiari knocked it away. Bad pass by Bakhtiari. Taken back by Pikasinski. Taken down by Bakhtiari. No call. And here we come the other way. Pisano with it for Canton. Pisano down the right side. Looking inside. He shoots. No. Bounces off Bakhtiari. Clears. Loose out front. Kia tried to center. Couldn't get it to Oscar. Just to the right of the box. As Gabera was able to tap it out to Savick. But it's intercepted at midfield by Vosmeyer. Vosmeyer shot. Blocked by Bakhtiari. Back to Vosmeyer. Tried to hit it out front. Helen Camp clears to Gabera. Sweeps it right side at midfield for Savick. Tima got inside him to knock it away. But Kia couldn't control. And Savick comes back with it for Louisville. 11 minutes in the first half. Savick across the red line in the invader zone. Centers and Swanner steps in front of Gabera. And he got a foul on Gabera on the push. That's three on Louisville. Vosmeyer in a walk approaching the red line. Clock rolling, 10.46 to play in the first half. Louisville leads 1-0. Vosmeyer lead ball for Rudy. Knocked away, taken back by Vosmeyer to Pikasinski. Pikasinski right side in the Thunder zone, back up to Tima. Tima left side, it comes to Pisano. Oscar winds, fires wide to the right side. Rebound comes out to Helen Camp. He clears ahead, Gabera on the run, Swanner out of the net to knock it away. And Vosmeyer to Pisano off the boards, and at midfield, Helen Camp got it back for Louisville. Helen Camp ahead to Savick. Savick across the red line in the invader zone. Shot blocked by Pisano. Bakhtiari gets it back for Louisville. And Bosmeyer knocked his pass away. But right back to Bakhtiari. Couldn't control. Taken by Kia. Kia had it deflected by Savick. And he controls at midfield. 10.03 to go in the period. Left side to Surrey. And now back it comes to Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari will back it up to A.J. Lakowacki. Who's out in front of the goal arc. Ahead midfield for Savick. Savick. Trying to maneuver with Kondrich. Kia from behind. They dump it in. Amlong with a shot. Swanner with a save. And here comes Pisano the other way. 9.39 to go. Pisano puts it ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy trying to work on Cato. And Rudy now has to go back to the net. Headed out to Tima. Back to Rudy. Tima got decked by Amlong. Centering ball. Kia knocked it wide to the left. Amlong clears. It's intercepted by Kondrich. Kondrich right side Kia. Kia trying to move on fall. Can't do it. Kia's got to back it up in the middle, and Tima couldn't get it. Amlong deflected to Hayes, and up the floor with it comes Mahalik. Up the right side, Hayes, Hayes, winds, fire, scores! And Louisville leads 2 to nothing. Tom Hayes with the goal. His fourth of the playoffs. Time of the goal, 5.51 of the second period. Hayes picks up the goal. And who's going to get the assist? Probably Mahalik. If so, that is Mahalik's second assist of the playoffs. There's a timeout on the field. 9.09 to play in the first half. Louisville 2, Canton 9. 5.51 of the second period. Tom Hayes from Giannis Mahalik. And now the crowd up trying to get something going here. The Invaders trail by two. 
the winner of this game wins the championship. The Invaders trying to make it three in a row, trying to keep it here. Louisville trying to take it away, and they lead 2-0. Randy Pekosinski and Steve Frick in the midfield circle to put the ball in play for camp. Fricky moves forward with it into the Louisville end. Ball too far for Randy, and Mahalik dumps it back in the goal box for Lakowiecki. A.J. puts it on the floor out midfield. Kondrich knocks it away to Randy Pekosinski. Lakowiecki out to knock it away from him, but Kondrich back to Randy. Shot through the right side. They couldn't get it to Frick. Fricky comes out with it. Fricky off the boards, got inside, fall, he shoots just wide to the left. Rebound, Schlotthauer block. Mahalik lost the ball. Akawaki knocked it ahead to Amlong. Amlong through the midfield circle. Louisville on the attack, three on two if they hurry. Ball down the right side for Mahalik. Mahalik had to wait on it. Out front, fall, shot wide to the left, controlled by Swanner. And he collides with Amlong, and that's going to be foul number four on Louisville. Only one more foul for Louisville to give and a lot of time, 8.28 in the second quarter. They have a two-goal lead, though. Louisville, two, Canton, nothing. Series is tied at two apiece. This is the final game. Mike Paxos with the ball for the Invaders. Ahead, left side, it comes to Schlotthauer. Outside the Canton red line, Schlotthauer puts it in the air for Frick in the left corner in the thunder end. Frick had the ball knocked away by Cato. Paxos gets it back in the midfield circle ahead to Kondrich in the right point. Condrich falling tight on him. And Condrich with one move, too. Ball headed out by Hayes. And Schlotthauer heads it over to Paxos at midfield. 8.02 to go in the first half. Lead ball knocked away by Bakhtiari. And coming up with it is Cato. Cato had it undercut from behind by Condrich. Schlotthauer pokes it ahead for Frick. Invaders attack two on two. Ball knocked away, but Root Randy gets it back in the corner. Randy left side trying to get between a couple of Louisville players. And there's the fifth foul on Louisville as Cato got a kick in. One more foul will give the Invaders a power play. 7.43 to go in the first half. Two to nothing, Louisville. Condrich will trigger it in. Paxo shot blocked by Hayes, controlled by Amlong. Amlong dribbling at midfield, right side. Amlong into the invader red into the invader zone. Ball knocked away from behind by Condrich and controlled by Swanner. Outlet short on the right side to Paxos. Gabera waits for him at midfield. Paxos clears ahead off the side boards for Frick. Frick maneuvers around a couple of players to get it back to midfield. Now turns faces the net. Ahead to Kia. Kia up over Lakowiecki, and he's going to draw the dangerous play foul. And that is the third one on the invaders in the period. Bakhtiari pushes it ahead for Jim Gabera. 7-10 to go in the first half. Gabera left side at midfield, picked up by Vossmeyer at the Canton red line. Gabera looking to back up. Now Vossmeyer comes closer. And back in the Louisville zone, it comes to Bakhtiari. Now Lakowiecki. Lakowiecki with Rudy on him. Sends it ahead for Surrey at midfield. Now Savick on the right side. Pisano with him. Ahead to Surrey. And we got the holding call against Rudy Pikasinski. That's four fouls on Canton. Shot score! by Bakhtiari on the restart, and Louisville leads three to nothing. Now, uh, did they get Savick for the goal, I believe? I think Zoran Savick's gonna get, let's see. Time of the goal is 8-14. And the Invaders are digging themselves a big hole. Louisville leads three to nothing. Well, this is not what the faithful here expected to see. Louisville with a three to nothing lead. And the Invaders trying to dig themselves out of that. 6.46 to go in the first half, a lot of time. But they need at least one, and preferably a couple more than that by halftime to get back in it. Louisville has five team fouls. So the Invaders could get a power play off of that. They gotta watch themselves though, they've got four, so Canton has only one team foul to give. <coughs> Two goals, by, two goals by Savick and one by Hayes have staked Louisville to the three to nothing lead. Kia dumps it back to Vossmeyer. Now Pisano at midfield. Pisano, left side to Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy trying to get inside Helen Camp in the corner. Outside to Tima. 
Dima Rudy in the middle. Ball picked away by Surrey. Bossmeyer deflects away from him and controls. Back left edge to midfield circle to Pisano on the right to Tima. 6.19 to go in the first half. Tima ahead to Pikazinski. Rudy down along the right side. Ball blocked by Bakhtiari and cleared, or rather by Surrey and cleared out by Bakhtiari. Now Savic right side at midfield. He's already scored two tonight. Helen Camp, midfield circle, left side Canton red line to Surrey. Down in the corner it comes. And Gabera whiffed on the centering pass, and Savic is the sixth foul. As he stepped all over Swanner, and the invaders will go on the power play. Time of the penalty, 9.05 of the second period. So the Invaders really need to take advantage of this power play. In the playoffs, 33%. That's not bad, but it's a little bit below, well below their regular season total of 42%. Louisville's penalty killers were the best in the league. During the regular season, 77%. They have been a little bit leaky in the postseason. 57% penalty killing as they've given up six goals in 14 power play situations. But the Invaders haven't been able to dent them the last two games with a man advantage. They really need it now, trailing by three. 5.52 to play in the first half. Here comes Vosmeyer with Schlothauer, Pisano, Kia, and Rudy Pekosinski on the power play. Man down team for Louisville, Hayes, Gabera, Bakhtiari, and Surrey. Rudy posted up up front. On the right side, it comes to Pisano. Pisano in the arc. Left side, Schlotthauer winds, fires, loose out front. Kia had the ball knocked away by Surrey. A minute 36 left in the penalty. Swanner comes out to the red line for Canton to tap it ahead to Vosmeyer. 5.24 in the quarter, minute 28 in the penalty. Left side, Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer, ball blocked by Gabera. And Vosmeyer will get it back at the red line for Canton. Invaders with a man advantage, looking for their first goal tonight. They trail 3-0. Schlotthauer winds, fires. Oh, and a good block by Bakhtiari. The shot had beaten Lakowiecki, but it bounces out to midfield. Minute seven to play in the penalty. Five minutes to go in the first half. Here is Vosmeyer, right side Pisano. He lets it go. That was blocked by Hayes. Pisano gets it back out of a double team. Ball taken away by Bakhtiari. Bakhtiari on the run for Louisville. Stops at midfield. They'll choose some time off the penalty. Bakhtiari into the Canton zone. He will take the left-footed shot. Swanner slaps it away and controls in the goal box. 42 in the penalty. Left side at the Canton red line, Schlotthauer. Here comes Vosmeyer up through the midfield circle. Four and a half to go in the period. Rudy posted up out in front of the net. Back to Vosmeyer. Vosmeyer moves to his left, beats Schlotthauer. Walter back to Vosmeyer. 26 in the penalty. Shot hit the post by Vosmeyer. Rudy couldn't get to the rebound. Pisano chases it back out front. 19 in the penalty. Left side to Schlotthauer. Now Vosmeyer, middle of the floor. Ahead to Pikasinski. Right side, Pisano. Dumps it in the corner. Comes back out to Vosmeyer. Eight seconds in the penalty. He shoots wide. Rebound knocked out of play by Surrey with four seconds left in the penalty. And 3.59 in the period. So Louisville about to complete what could be a very big penalty killing shift to try to preserve a 3 to nothing lead. And in fact, the Invaders will pull the man up team out with only four seconds left in the penalty. Schlotthauer stays in. He teams with Paxos on D. Kondrich, Randy Pikasinski, and Frick will be there. And they are saying the ball was touched last by Canton. I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a minute. Surrey clearly blocked that ball out of play. It appeared from up here. But Louisville will get a chance to put it in, and that'll kill the penalty. As Cato dumps it off, Amlong back to Fall. The penalty is over. Up the middle comes Fall. Right side, Amlong. Amlong centers. Fall. Oh, good block by Condridge to get a piece of that so Swanner could control. Up the field comes Steve Frick. Frick back to the net. Left corner in the Louisville end on Cato. Yilmaz Orhan into the game for the first time for Louisville. He comes into double team. Frick gets out of a crowd trying to get it out to Randy. Randy gets away from Amlong and drops it back at midfield to Paxos. Three and a half minutes to go in the first half. Louisville three, Canton nothing. Midfield circle, Mike Paxos. Moves to the left side, ahead to Frick. Frick trying to get inside Cato. Still looking for an opening. Frick a couple of steps in. Cato backpedals a little bit. He heels it over to Paxos. Paxos with a shot through the box. And it bounces out behind the guys there, and Orhan comes up with it for Louisville. 
Orhan up the left side of the floor. Schlotthauer back on D along with Condridge. And the ball is poked away by Frick, who slides over. 2.58 to go in the first half. Swanner controls in the goal box for the Invaders. Louisville three, Canton nothing. Condridge pushes ahead for Schlotthauer, left side at midfield. Walter, Randy Pikasinski, left side of the Louisville end. Randy backs it up to Schlotthauer, back edge of the midfield circle, Paxos, 240 in the half. Paxos, Orhan waits at the red line, now Frick back up to Tim Tima. Tima, his pass is blocked, but Paxos dumps it back into Randy Pikasinski. Randy tried to get it through to Paxos, he did. Blackawecki out to knock it away. It's loose, Paxos scores! And they're gonna wave it off. No goal. They're gonna say there was a push, so each team has had a goal disallowed. That's the fifth foul on Canton. They commit another one. Louisville would go on the power play. So take the goal away. And there's the sixth foul. As Tima gets whistled for the trip on Savick, and Louisville will go on the man advantage. Time of the penalty coming up on Canton will be 12-43. This will be Louisville's first power play opportunity of the night. They already lead three to nothing and the Invaders have failed on their only power play. Louisville has called timeout with 2.17 to go in the first half. We'll take a break. Louisville three, the Invaders nothing. Louisville about to go on the power play for the first time tonight. They haven't needed the man advantage so far. They lead three to nothing. 2.17 to play in the second quarter, so this penalty will go until there's only 17 seconds left in the half. The Invaders have failed on their only power play. Shorthanded team for Canton, Tima, Kondrich, Frick, and Randy Pikasinski. And the power play unit for Louisville, Gary Amlong, Jim Gabera, Zoran Savick, Chris Hellenkamp, and Mike Fall. Boy, if we could ever use a shorthanded goal, which we've had a dozen of this year, right now's the time. Boy, you sure do not want to give up a power play goal to Louisville. They have converted 54% of their power play chances in the playoffs, 7 out of 13. The Invader penalty killers have had their problems in the playoffs, only killing off 59%. Fall, left side midfield, and now Helen Camp. Down in the corner it is to Amlong. Back out front, Savick shot blocked by Frick. And Tima taps it in the goal box for Swanner. Minute 40 to go in the penalty, minute 57 in the period. Long lead, Steve Frick, left side at midfield. Randy Pikasinski out there with him. Frick trying to make a move, and he'll choose some time as he taps the ball back to Tima. And Tima in the goal box to Swanner. Jamie sends it ahead, and Frick heads it in. The zone of Louisville, it's controlled by Lakowiecki. Minute 20 in the penalty. Savick right side at midfield for Louisville, dumps it over on the left to Fall. Fall picked up by Randy Pikasinski back in the midfield circle, Helen Camp, and the ball knocked away from Amlong by Tima from behind. Amlong slides over to deflect it away from Frick. Savick controls at midfield for Louisville. Soren Savick back to Helen Camp, middle of the floor at the red line, one minute to go on the penalty. Mike Fall. Left side, Helen Camp out front. Helen Camp stops, works on Frick on the right side. Savick shot knocked away by Randy Pikasinski. Stays in play in the corner. Fall dumps it out front for Helen Camp. 47 in the penalty. Shot wide to the left, and Swanner out of the net couldn't get it. Condridge and Amlong fight for it. They get it over on the left side. It comes to Fall, and you got a foul coming up on Louisville as Amlong pushed off on Condridge before the ball was cleared away. 56 seconds left in the first half. 39 in the Invader penalty. Louisville leads three to nothing. Tima, lead ball for Frick. Frick working on Helen Camp, and he tries to get around a double team, but Fall knocks the ball away, and Gabera heads the ball back to Savick. We have 47 in the period, 30 in the penalty. Louisville three, Canton nothing. Helen Camp, midfield circle, right side Savick, centers for Gabera. He shoots, kick save Swanner. Rebound, knocked up in the air, handed away by Tima. What a play by Tima! Gabera center, Swatter knocks it away. They center and, for, and they can't get it for Amlong on the left side. It's cleared long. Seven in the penalty. And the Invaders are going to kill the penalty off. That'll bring the crowd to its feet. As the time runs out on the penalty, now only 15 in the first half, though. Savick in the Canton end. In the corner, it comes for Amlong. And Rudy Pikasinski will try to take that away. Amlong centers. Tima knocks it up in the crowd with six seconds to go in the first half. Louisville will put it in play, but it looks like the Invaders are going to get shut out over the first 30 minutes. 
I think that one almost picked off my fiance's father. Is that right? No. Your brother. Okay. Six seconds left in the first half. It has not been a good one for the Invaders. They trail three to nothing. We've seen this team come from behind before, but let's hope they can do it again. Savick to put it in play for Louisville. It's blocked up in the air by Pikasinski and headed out and a foul on Rudy with three seconds to go in the half. And Louisville will have one more attempt here to trigger it in play. Mahalik clears down the right, now backs up. Savick, ball blocked by Rudy and that's the end of the first half. With a score, the Louisville Thunder three and the Canton Invaders nothing. We will come back to the Civic Center in one minute. Planning tax strategies is always difficult and now more than ever. United Bank doesn't have all the answers, but we can help with personal financial planning. Consequence in the scoring. Louisville got one in the first quarter and two in the second. It'll be Kia, Vosmeyer, Rudy Pikasinski, Tima, and Pisano for Canton to start the second half, so no change there. Gabera, Suri, Savic, Bakhtiari, and Helen Camp for Louisville, and no change there. So and the two goalkeepers are the same: Swanner for Canton and Lakawecki for Louisville. Now they are switching some people around as the Canton players that had been on the floor are stepping off and it'll be Steve Maurer starting on the line with Randy Pikasinski and Condrit. So Maurer is in replacing Frick and Schlotthauer and Paxos will start the second half on defense. This switches the matchup of the two lines. Savick with the ball for Louisville. We're underway in the third quarter. Drops it back to Caleb Surrey. I had to Savick, right side of the Canton zone. Paxos on defense. Randy in to help out, and Condridge slaps it away. And Randy controls for the invaders. Pikasinski drops it back to Mike Paxos. Outlet on the right side to Schlotthauer. Louisville three, Canton nothing early in the third quarter. Schlotthauer long lead. Steve Maurer on Bakhtiari. Randy was pushed off, and the push was before the play. It was Bakhtiari pushing off on Maurer. That's the first foul of the half. It goes against Louisville. Condridge will put it in play for Canton in the right corner. Tom Condrich for the Invaders. Looking in the box to see what might develop there. He looks, he looks, he fires off the boards. It's over the head of Maurer who chases it down in the left corner. Maurer working on Bakhtiari. A couple of big players matched up against each other there. Axos, now it's Condrich posted up out front. Ball poked away and taken by Savick. Savick drops it back for Gabera. Savick through the middle of the floor. Gabera's got to chase it back, now leaves it for Helen Camp. Helen Camp ahead for Savick, knocked away by Schlotthauer, taken by Maurer. Maurer up the left side, Surrey knocks it away from him, and Savick comes away with it for Louisville. Savick through the midfield circle. Left side, Gabera, now Helen Camp right through the legs of Savick up front. And coming the other way is Paxos. We played a minute of the second half. Paxos through the circle. Condrich had the ball deflected by Helen Camp. Tomo gets it back and dumps it back in the Canton zone. And Swanner is there with it for the Invaders ahead to Paxos. Paxos right side at midfield for Schlotthauer. Lead ball for Condrich. Condrich through the middle. Looks, he shoots, and Maurer knocks it wide. Stays in play in the corner. Maurer trying to get some help from Kia. Maurer shot wide. Rebound out to Condrich. He shoots up in the crowd. Thirteen thirty-nine to play. 
in the third quarter. And it'll be a goal kick for Louisville. Lakowecki to put it in play for the Thunder. Taps it out the left side of the box to Amlong, back to Lakowecki, rather to Mahalik. And Lakowecki ahead midfield, and Hayes up the right side, got behind a man, he shoots, he scores! And Louisville leads four to nothing. Savick has scored two, now Hayes has scored two. 141 of the third period, the time of the goal. And the Invaders have a huge hole to dig themselves from out of now. Lakowecki will get the assist. And we're back underway. Rudy Pikasinski working in the Louisville end. Backs it up midfield. Pisano to Kia in the box. Can't control. And Fall sends it ahead for Louisville. Here comes Hayes again on the run up the left side. Swanner with a sliding play to knock it away. Kia sends it ahead to Vosmeyer. Vosmeyer working with it for the Invaders. And here comes Tima. Tima ahead for Rudy. He shoots wide. Rebound knocked away by Cato. Cato had it knocked back by Vosmeyer. It comes through the box, but nobody home there for Kent. And Amlong has it for Louisville. Amlong lost the ball to Tima. Back to Vosmeyer. 12.38 to play in the quarter. Kia tried to heal it to Vosmeyer, but Hayes knocked it away to Lakowecki. 4-0 Louisville. Lakowecki, long lead. Gabera on the breakaway. Swanner kicked it away from him. And Pisano controls for Kent. 12.20 to go in the third quarter. Louisville four, the Invaders nothing. Vossmeyer with it in the Canton zone. Vossmeyer pushes it ahead in the Louisville end for Rudy Pikasinski, trying to get inside Cato. Centers for Kia, he shoots, hit the post. Rebound, Tima hit the crossbar. Rebound again wide to the left, and finally headed out of play. And knocked out by Mahalik, and it'll be Canton's kick in. 11.59 to play in the third quarter. Louisville four, Canton nothing. Mossmeyer to put it in play for the Invaders. Conversation with the referee in front of the Louisville bench. They want a substitution. They'll get it. Invaders trail by four before what appears to be over 4,000 very stunned fans. Louisville's got their substitutions in. Vossmeyer will trigger it in for Canton. Vossmeyer fires off the wall. It comes out behind everybody, and Gabera comes the other way for Louisville. Pisano with him on D. Gabera poked away from behind by Kia, but knocked it to Savick. And Savick back outside to Helen Camp on the right side of the invader zone, Surrey. Surrey winds. Kia deflects it loose into the corner. And Vossmeyer controls for Canton. Dumps it in the goal box for Swanner. Jamie. Long lead for Rudy Pikasinski up the left side of the floor. Rudy back to the net against Bakhtiari, trying to maneuver between a couple players, has to dump it out to Tima. And at the, at the midfield line, it comes to Vossmeyer. Ahead to Rudy. Rudy tried to leave it for Kia. Bakhtiari knocked it away. And Savick comes out with it for Louisville, taken away by Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer slides again, but Savick dumps it back in the goal box for Lakowecki. Lakowecki, long lead. Savick up the left side. Pisano will get there first and will control in the invader zone. We have 11.05 to play in the third quarter. Canton trails four to nothing. Ahead it comes for Steve Frick. Frick sliding play by Bakhtiari to knock it away, taken back by Kondrich. Kondrich winds, fires wide to the left. Rebound comes out behind Rudy, and it's cleared out for Hayes. And long ahead to Hayes. Hayes in the corner against uh, Kondrich, and R Rudy over to help, and the push call will go against Rudy. And that is the first foul on the Invaders. And you got a two-minute penalty coming up on Rudy Pikasinski. That's just what we need. Let's give Louisville the power play on top of the four-goal lead. Unsportsmanlike conduct will be the call on Rudy. Time of the penalty, 4-17. Louisville is 0 for 1 on the power play tonight. So are the Invaders. So Rudy.
Rudy goes off for unsportsmanlike conduct at 416. Louisville will have their second man advantage opportunity of the night. Shorthanded team, Kondrich, Freck, Tima, and Randy Pikasinski. It's Amlong, Cabrera, Fall, Savick, and Hellenkamp. Savick outside to Hellenkamp. Left side to Fall on the point. In the corner it comes to Cabrera, left side. Back out to Fall and outside the red line to Hellenkamp. Now Amlong posted up and feeds on the left point to Fall. Back to Hillenkamp, a minute 45 in the penalty. Right side to Savick. Savick up front to Amlong. Terms faces the net. Center, oh, Swanner has just robbed Gabera. They had Gabera on the post, and Swanner able to deflect it over the glass and out of play. 10-23 in the period, a minute 39 in the penalty. Corner kick from the left side for Louisville. Fall to trigger it in. Centers, and the ball knocked away by Tima. Controlled by Randy Pikasinski. Ahead to Steve Frick, and the Invaders will come out with it. Frick. Spins to get around Gabera. Frick right edge of the midfield circle. Back to Tima. Tima working against Amlong. Trying to push it ahead. Fall blocked it. Randy Pikasinski tries to take it away. And here comes Tima. Tima into the zone. Shot blocked out of play by Gabera. Canton will control. Touchline right in the Louisville end. 10.02 in the period. A minute 18 in the penalty. Tim Tima to put it in play for the Invaders. There, a man down. Frick out front, trying to turn. He shoots. It's blocked. And Savick tries to clear it against the boards. Frick and Helen Camp fight for it. Helen Camp comes away with it. Frick outruns him. Helen Camp turns, double team, spins, shot, ball blocked by Kondrich, but Savick controls for Louisville. And we have one minute left to the penalty to Rudy Pikasinski. Savick, midfield circle, back to Helen Camp. And now ahead it comes to fall on the left side. Fall, Savick, right side at midfield. Kondrich out on him. Now Helen Camp, back edge of the circle, through the circle. Picked up by Frick at the Canton red line. Moves to the left. Randy slides over. It's in the fall. Ball deflected in the box. Loose out front. And Frick will tap it ahead for, for Frick on the run. Team it to Frick. Frick working against Helen Camp in the Thunder zone. Fricky controls along the boards. 30 seconds in the penalty. Ball poked away on the double team by Savick. And he controls over to Helen Camp. 3,740. The crowd at the Civic Center tonight. Here comes Savick. And the left side, and you got a whistle and a foul. And that one's going to go on Frick. That'll be foul number two on the Invaders in the period. We've got 18 seconds left in the Louisville power play. And 9.02 to go in the third quarter. Helen Camp, middle of the floor at the red line. On the right side to Savick, off the boards. In the corner for Gabera. Knocked away, Savick. Shot blocked, Tima. Rebound knocked out by Pikasinski. Bounces to Helen Camp at midfield. Six seconds in the penalty. Gabera trying to move on Kondrich. He shoots, Slaughter save, rebound, knocked away. And Tima clears ahead and the penalty is over. Rudy Pikasinski back on the field and Frick could have seen him but the ball was knocked away by Fall. Rudy was unmarked. Down by the box but Frick didn't get a chance. Here comes Savick for Louisville. The Invaders have killed off the penalty but they still trail 4-0. Amlong has it knocked away by Tima. Taken down by Amlong. That could be two minutes but they won't give it to him. That will be the third foul on Louisville. Here comes Kondrich. Moise Suri in for the first time. Here is Pisano. Wines, fires, rebound. Pikasinski. Kia whiffed on it. Oh, he had a shot and couldn't get, quite get to it. Vosmeyer steps in front of Moise Suri. Now Kia trying to get it to Vosmeyer. Blocked by Moise Suri. Taken by Janusz Mahalik. Mahalik. Pushes the ball ahead, and this is Hayes. Hayes, Vossmeyer with a sliding play to steal it away. And he dumps it back to Tima. Ahead to Rudy. Rudy, back to Vossmeyer, 7.52. Ahead to Pikasinski. And Lakowacki has it knocked away. Rudy plows into Lakowacki and knocks him down. And we've got a foul coming up, and that'll be on the Invaders, their third. Louisville will put the ball in play. Cato to trigger it in for the Thunder. 7.48 to go third quarter. Louisville, four. Canton nothing. Lakowacki within the goal box for the Thunder. He'll pick it up and he'll put it back down and come out with it. Rudy to confront him. Lakowacki clears up the left side. Moise Suri at the Canton red line. Vossmeyer back on him. Feeds on the right side to Hayes. He's got two already tonight. Shot kick saves Swanner. And Kia out after the rebound and it's dumped out to midfield and it'll bounce down to Lakowacki. And AJ will send it back out to midfield. And it's taken by Pisano there. Pisano working on Tom Mulroy in for the first time. He's double teamed. Foul goes against Moise Surrey on the trip. That's four on Louisville. 7-18 to play in the third quarter. 
The Invaders trying to dig themselves out of a 4 to nothing deficit. This is the final game of the championship series. Oscar Prezano will put the ball in play from the right side at midfield. He dumps it over to Vosmeyer back near the circle. Ahead to Pikasinski to Kia. Kia down the right side. Chased into the corner by Mahalik. Kia working back to the net. Dumps it out on the right point. Tima sweeps it over middle of the floor. Pisano. Pisano moves around one man in the side. Looking to center up front to Kia. He shoots just wide. And it's bumped out by Hayes. Surrey heads it forward. Mulroy and Tima in a race. Tima taps it away from Mulroy. Swanner back ahead to Tima. And now here comes Pisano. 6.50 to go in the quarter. Pisano across the red line. Pikasinski is being held by Cato. No call. And we come out to Pisano. Now Pisano working on Cato. This time they caught Cato. And that's the fifth foul on Louisville. So the next one would give the Invaders a power play. 6.40 to go in the period. The Invaders trail 4-0. The crowd trying to stir them up. Bob Vosmeyer to put it in play for Canton. Vosmeyer. Inside for Rudy. Rudy trying to work out front, trying to sweep it outside. Pisano winds, fires wide. Kia headed block. And Hayes tries to clear back to Pisano. To Rudy, he can't control. Mahalik, long lead. Swanner out to break up the breakaway. And coming the other way is Tima. They got a four on three if they hurry. Tima, Pisano, and it's intercepted by Moise Suri and cleared out by Cato. Bosmeyer waits for it at midfield. 6.17 to go in the period. Bosmeyer puts it in the air. Pikasinski scores! his sixth goal of the playoffs it comes at 848 of the four, third quarter Give the and the invaders are on the board Now that can be a big goal, not just because it gets them on the board, but because they haven't gotten the sixth foul yet. They could get a power play yet, too. Nice header. And Louisville down here is, looks a little bit shaken up. That really brought the crowd back in, and, they're saying, and they've had it happen to them in this building before. Can the invaders come back? They were down 4 nothing. They've gotten on the board. 6.13 left in the period, so at the time of that goal would actually be 8.47. They had let a second tick off, and then they put it back on the clock. Rudy Pikasinski with the goal, his sixth of the playoffs. Bob Vosmeyer gets his third assist in the postseason, and the Invaders are on the board. Look at Zoran Savick. He looks a little disgusted, doesn't he? Listen to the crowd. Louisville drops the kickoff back. Surrey ahead. Schlotthauer knocks it away from Savick. Here comes Steve Maurer. Maurer dishes back to Mike Paxos in the midfield circle. Invaders on the attack. They have cut the lead down to three. They're trying to cut it to two. Randy Pikasinski in the corner working on back to the eye centers, and it just went through the legs of Kondrich. Paxos on the point, dumps it down, and it's dumped in the box, knocked away by Randy, and Lakowiecki just did get to that. And he throws it the length of the floor. Nobody there for Louisville. Swanner sends it ahead for Paxos. 5.39 to go in the period. Lead ball for Steve Maurer. Taps it in the corner. Brandy Pikasinski heals it back for Maurer. And Lakowiecki is there to intercept that. Oh, and they call a cheap foul on Maurer. That's the fourth foul on the Invaders. Lakowiecki picks it up in the goal box. Long outlet. Midfield for Gabera. Gabera at the Canton red line. Lost the ball for a second. Condrich got a piece of it. Then Hellenkamp got it. They dump it down, and there's the fifth foul on the Invaders on Paxos as Hellenkamp went down. So now each team with five fouls. 5.19 to play. Whoever commits the next foul will go shorthanded. Louisville 4, Canton 1. We're in the third quarter. 5.19 left in this championship game. Gabera in the corner out front. Savic, Savic trying to dribble around. He's got Kondrich with him. And now clears back to midfield to Saeed Bakhtiari. Randy Pikasinski on him. Bakhtiari had the ball deflected by Kondrich, taken by Randy. Randy 
Lets a couple of defenders, clears by, pushes it ahead to Schlothauer. Walter on the run up the left side, dumps it down in the corner for Maurer. Maurer back out front to Schlothauer. And Schlothauer on the point on Savick, dumps it down in the right corner. Maurer is there against Bakhtiari. Stevie back to the net. Cabrera to double team, and it's dumped out. Randy knocked it away. Sav er, Cabrera couldn't control, and Paxos did. And now here is Walt Schlothauer, 440 in the period. Kondrich taps it off the sideboards, back out to Schlothauer. In the air, dumped up by Gabera and punched out by Lakowiecki to midfield. Schlothauer chases it back to the Canton red line. Swanner pins it there and leaves it for Walter. 4-1 Louisville, 4.23 to play in the third quarter. Long lead, Maurer trying to get inside back to Yari. Spins back to the net, Gabera's there. Maurer double team but gets out of the crowd out front to Paxos. Paxos fires and it goes over the glass and out of play. The invaders are saying Lakowiecki touched it, but the referee says yes. Corner kick, Canton. It'll be from the right side with 4.10 to play in the third quarter. Louisville 4, Canton 1. Louisville scored the first four goals of the game. The invaders have answered back with a Rudy Pikasinski tally from Bob, Bob Vosmeyer at 8.47 of the third quarter. It'll be Vosmeyer to trigger the ball in play from the right side corner spot for Canton. Pisano's outside on the point. Tima back at the red line. Rudy in the box and Kia in the left corner. Centering ball right through the box. Cato took Rudy down from behind. No call. Tima dumps it left side to Kia. Out front, Vosmeyer. Vosmeyer looking for some help. Drops it back to Timmy. Four minutes in the quarter. Tima moving left to right. Clears it down in the corner. And Pikasinski can't get it away from Cato and Louisville will clear it out. Cato moves down the left side of the floor. Pisano back on deep. Mahalik shot. Kick save Swanner and a beauty. Ahead to Rudy Pikasinski. All bad pass taken away by Fall. They dump it out. Cato lost it to Kia. Rudy got inside. Kia shoots now. Rebound loose out front. Cleared out by Cato. Swanner out. He fires it out of the play into the crowd. 3.32 left to go. And it'll be a goal kick Louisville. Thunder leads 4-1. We're in the third quarter. 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio, radio home of the Invaders. Canton trying to win their third straight league crown, but they trail by three in the third period. They tap it out to Cato. Back of the goal box, Lakowiecki, he'll pick it up. And fire it out, right side midfield. That's going to be intercepted by Tima. Tima down the left side of the floor. Hayes with him. Timmy stops in the corner, looking for the move inside. Timmy feeds out on the left point to Vosmeyer. Bosmeyer moves to the middle of the floor, dumps it in for Pikasinski. Pikasinski to Tima. He fires. It's blocked by Hayes. Rudy taps the rebound out, but nobody home, and here comes Fall the other way. 3.05 to go in the period. Mike Fall for Louisville. Through the midfield circle, reverses his field, takes it back to the midfield line, and now Hayes right side. Now Mahalik. Ball dumped back in the Louisville zone, and over the glass and out of play by Lakowiecki. And the Invaders will kick it in. 2.53 to go. In the third quarter, Canton trails 4-1. It was 3-0 at halftime, and we've each team uh, has scored one apiece here in the third quarter. Louisville first. Hayes' second goal. Hayes and Savick each have two goals for Louisville. Bosmeyer puts it in play down in the right corner for Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski trying to work around a double team. Got it inside. Centering ball knocked away. Trip call against Louisville on the hole. That's the sixth foul. The Invaders will go on the power play. Time of the penalty, 12-16. Canton failed on their first power play of the game. That happened in the second quarter. Louisville is 0 for 2 on the power play tonight. The Invaders have to be careful because they've got five fouls of their own. This could be a huge power play goal if they could put it in here. It would cut the lead down to just two with over a quarter left to go. 2.44 left in the third. Louisville will be down a man for two minutes. Power play unit for Canton. Kia, Rudy Pikasinski, Oscar Pisano, Bob Bosmeyer, and Walt Schlothauer. The man down team for Louisville, Jim Cabrera, Tom Hayes, Saeed Bakhtiari, and Caleb Suri. Yilmaz Orhan will serve the penalty. It'll be put in play from the right side, about four feet outside the penalty box. Vosmeyer to trigger it in. 
Vossmeyer looking in the box, fires it outside. Schlotthauer winds, fires, blocked by Gabera, and then it hit Walter and went out of play. It'll be Louisville's kick in. 2.41 left in the period. That took two seconds off the penalty clock. Louisville will take a few more off as they start it up here. Saeed Bakhtiari surveys the situation, dumps it to midfield for Gabera off his foot, and Pisano controls for Canton. Gabera knocked it away from Oscar. The Swanner controls for Canton. And now Vossmeyer. Ahead left side, Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer's got Gabera beat. He shoots. It's blocked in front by Surrey. More by accident, I think, than anything else, because he was watching Rudy Pikasinski, and the shot just happened to hit him in the heel. Goes over the glass and out of play. It'll be a corner kick Canton from the left side with a minute 40 in the penalty, 224 in the quarter. Vossmeyer to trigger it in. Vossmeyer through the middle. Ball loose out front. Rudy can't find it. Dumps it outside in the corner for Vossmeyer. Off the board. Schlotthauer can't get it away, and Hayes comes up the floor. Hayes trying to get around Pisano. Does Swanner out. He got the shot away, but Swanner got a piece of it. And you got a two-minute handball coming up on Jamie Swanner as he was outside the box. And they say he touched it with a hand. So that'll kill off the power play. Time of this penalty on Canton will be 12.51. So Louisville will have 35 seconds of power play in a minute 25 when the in this current invader power play runs out. We'll play four on four for a minute 25. 2.09 to play. Louisville four, Canton one. Gabera will put the ball in play from the spot where they say Swanner touched it with his hand. Jamie is a tad perturbed at the call. The invaders still have to put somebody in the penalty box. I think it's going to be Vossmeyer. No, it will not be Vossmeyer. He goes to the bench. So we still need somebody to serve this penalty. Louisville four, Canton one. And it will be Mike Paxos to serve the penalty. Louisville backs it up. Gabera, red line, up to midfield, and it comes back to Hayes. Minute 18 left in the Louisville penalty. Then they'll have 35 seconds of power play after that. Condrich knocks it away from Gabera. Tima ahead to Frick. Frick on Gabera at midfield, and back it comes to Condrich, and the invaders move it in. Minute 49 in the quarter. Ball knocked out of the zone by Hayes, and Tima spins to get away from Gabera. And Timmy ahead to Rudy. Rudy down the middle. He shoots. No, rebound to Lakawaki. 53 in the first penalty, minute 27 in the second. Here comes Hayes. Tima knocks it away from him. And Condridge comes up with it. The Invaders also with five fouls. They got to be careful they don't commit another one or they could go down another man. Tima, and it's too far for Rudy. Lakawaki's outside the box and picks it up. And no call. They can call Swanner for the handball. Lakawaki's clearly outside the box and no call. Minute eight. Left in the period. Savick, Amlong with it. 20 seconds in the Louisville penalty. Savick out front. Gabarit down in the corner. Dumps it out front for Amlong. That's going to be taken away by Rudy. Rudy's got one man to beat up the floor. Pikasinski knocked away by Saeed Bakhtiari. And the ball taken by Savick for Louisville. Three seconds in the Louisville penalty. And Savick lost the ball to Tima. And Louisville is back at full strength as Orhan steps to the bench. And Fall comes out of the floor. Shot just wide to the left by Tima. And Gabera has it for Louisville ahead to Fall. Fricky hounding him. They back it up. 30 in the period and 20 in the penalty. Rudy knocks the ball away from Savick. It's controlled in the box by Lakowacki. And now Mike Fall with it up the right side of the floor for Louisville. Fall ahead. Amlong dumps it back to midfield. Bakhtiari is there. Seven seconds left in the Canton penalty. Savick in the midfield circle. 12 seconds in the quarter now. Left side it comes to Fall at the red line. The penalty's over. Paxos out on the floor. And Fall backs it up for uh, Savick. Three seconds, 2-1, and the third quarter is history. With a score, the Louisville Thunder four 
And the Canton Invaders won. We come back after this. Swanner will be in the goal to our left. Lakowecki in the goal to our right in the fourth quarter. Team of Osmeyer, Kia, Rudy Pikasinski, and Pisano for Canton. Let's see if they stay there. They, they came out at the start of the third quarter and then went back to the bench. It's Hayes, Paul, Amlong, Cato, and Mahalik for Louisville. The Canton players will stay out. Invaders, the home team, to control the kickoff to start the period. Kia and Rudy in the midfield circle. Invaders trying to get things going. Rudy drops it back to Vossmeyer. Red line, right side to Pisano. Pisano. Left side, Vossmeyer clears for Pikasinski, and it hits the top of the glass and goes out of play. Goal kick for Louisville. We've played 12 seconds of the fourth quarter. Lakowecki will put it in play for the Thunder. AJ. Working with Cato. Cato moves out to the left side of the box. Taps it in. Back to AJ. Rudy made a swipe at it. Didn't get it. Long lead for Hayes. Got inside Pisano. Down the corner on the right side. Centers Amlong. Shot wide. Hit a rebound. No. And Tima controls it off his chest into Swanner. Outlet comes out right side to Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer ahead for Rudy. Knocked away by Cato. Taken by Fall. Midfield circle to Hayes. Up the left side for Fall. Fall with Pisano. Centering ball. And Tima with good defense to take it away from Amlong. Lead ball Swanner ahead for Pikasinski. Rudy working on Cato. Rudy. Fall over to double team. Rudy got through him and dumps it back to midfield. Pisano is there for Canton. Pisano, Vossmeyer looking inside. He wants Rudy down in the right corner. Gets it to him. Rudy puts it through the box. Lakowecki dives and I think Key is going to get the first foul on the Invaders and it is. With a minute three gone in the period. 13.57 left in the game. Louisville four. Canton one. Lakowecki with it in the goal box. Puts it on the ground. Sends it out to midfield. Hillenkamp sweeps it in the invader zone. Nobody home there. And Swanner will push it ahead for a Pisano. How long do you go if you're the invaders before you pull Swanner now? Pisano, long lead for Steve Maurer. And now Rudy Pikasinski trying to get inside Bakhtiari. And Savic swipes it out to midfield. Paxos is there with it inside the Canton red line. Minute 26 to, or rather 13 26 left in the game. Paxos, midfield circle, ahead for Maurer. Maurer, Paxos, give and go, shoots wide, score! It dribbled right through the hands of A.J. Lakowacki. Mike Paxos with a goal. Steve Maurer, the assist. We got ourselves a game. Paxos with a goal. Maurer, the assist. Time of the goal, 1.43. And the Invaders have cut it down to two and four to two. Louisville puts it in play midfield. Savick had it knocked away by Schlotthauer. And Condrich controls for Canton. The Invaders come back on the attack. Condrich, right side, Randy Pikasinski, just outside the Louisville red line. Back to Paxos, who just scored for Canton. Left side at midfield, it comes to... Uh, Schlotthauer ahead for Randy in the corner. Centers Maurer. Shot, kick save. Rebound, loose out front. And cleared away by Bakhtiari Savic on the run the other way for Louisville. He shoots, taken down by Paxos. Good defensive play. Schlotthauer with it. Trying to dribble in the corner, and he comes free. Ball knocked away by Gabera. Now Savic deflected for a second. Centering out front, it comes to Hellenkamp. Hellenkamp, shot, loose out front, and Paxos clears it away. Surrey with it. Ball taken away by Randy. Surrey with a push, and they call it on Randy. They call a handball on Randy. He was spinning in the air, I think, after he got pushed. Ball loose in the corner. Centering ball and taken by Swanner. Two fouls on Canton, none on Louisville in the period. We got 12-19 left in the game. It's a 4-2 game. Louisville with the lead. Randy Pikasinski coming up the field for Canton. Ahead for Maurer. Maurer trying to get inside Bakhtiari. Maurer back to the net in the corner. Outside it comes for Tima. Back to Maurer. Maurer off the boards for Tima. Timmy loose out front. He shoots just wide. Rebound comes out off the heel of Condridge. And Tomo controls up against the right side boards. Taps it out to midfield to Tima. Tima 
ahead for Randy Pikasinski. Randy had it knocked away by Surrey, and it's cleared out to midfield, and here comes Hayes on the break. Hayes, behind the defender, shoots, scores. Hat trick for Tom Hayes, Louisville leads 5-2. Time of the goal, 3.15, or yeah, 3.15. Hayes, his third goal of the night. 5-2 lead for Louisville. Boy, and that quieted things down. Ball loose out front in the Louisville end. Lakowiecki scoops it up. Long lead midfield, intercepted by Tima. Tima ahead to Vossmeyer. 11 and a half minutes left to go in the game. Louisville by three. Vossmeyer had it knocked away by Fall. Pisano pushes it ahead. Inside for Kia. Lakowiecki out of the net. Kia scores! It's not over yet. the goal Pisano will get the assist it's 5-3 time of the goal is 3:42. so the invaders have cut it back to two again a lot of time 11-18 left and that brought the crowd right back into it now Surrey ahead, Gabera knocked away by Tima. Gabera should be given two minutes for that as he hammered Tima in the boards. It's a foul on Gabera. But if that isn't two, you're going to have to see a head rolling around on the floor before they give one. Eleven fourteen left in the game. Swanner. Bounces it ahead to Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy in a crowd. Gets away from one. Obstructed by Surrey. And they get the call. That'll be the first foul on Louisville. That should be the second. No, it is the first. Glossmeyer, right side Pisano. Pisano. Off the boards for Kia. Kia trying to get inside. Bakhtiari can't do a double team. Pisano trying to get through a crowd in camp. And Gabera tries to clear. Lost it to Pisano. Pisano in the middle. Knocked down. Tima had the ball blocked by Helen Camp. And Savick coming the other way for Louisville. Tima to take it down. And Timmy gets whistled for the trip. That's the third on Canton. Here comes Helen Camp. He winds. He fires wide. Rebound Savick in the corner for Gabera. And it's lost to Pisano. And Swanner controls. 10.26 to go. Jamie, long lead. Rudy Pikasinski trying to work on Surrey. And now Helen Camp over to help out. Rudy takes them both down in the corner. Got it off to himself. But it's controlled in the box by Lakowiecki. A.J. lead ball for Amlong at midfield. Amlong spins away from Bossmeyer and drops it back to Surrey. And ahead to Savick. And now Helen Camp left side. Helen Camp dumps it down. Amlong in the corner. Amlong, team on him. Back out front, Surrey. Right side, it comes to Helen Camp. His shot blocked by Pisano. The follow by Amlong is over the glass and out of play. That'll be a goal kick, Canton, with 9.53 left in the game. Five three, Louisville. It was three nothing. Thunder at halftime. The Invaders, have, it was one time it was 4-0. The Invaders have been able to cut it to two twice. They haven't gotten any closer. Louisville backing up on D. Schlotthauer comes out across the Invader red line. Lead ball for Maurer in the corner trying to get inside Cato. Double teamed out there, but Maurer comes away with it. Paxos on the right point. Paxos for Kondrich in the left corner. Kondrich working against Fall. Tomo trying to move inside. Across the front is shot blocked by Cato, and Cato clears the length of the floor. Swanner waits for it at the red line for Canton. Right side to Paxos. Ahead to Maurer. 
Maurer working on Cato again. And back to Paxos. He's got to chase that back to the midfield stripe. Paxos in the circle. Right side for Randy Pikasinski, and he's pushed by Mahalik, and that is going to be the second foul on Louisville. Tom Kondrich will put it in play. Paxos, Wines, fires, blocked by Hayes, and Hayes dumps it out to midfield, and Swanner's out to the red line to get it. We have exactly nine minutes left in the game. Paxos, right side midfield, back to Swanner. Swanner outside the red line. He lets it go ahead in the corner for Maurer. Maurer working on Cato. Maurer spins. Cato has to back away. Maurer down the left side for Kondrich. Kondrich trying to maneuver inside fall down against the boards. Wall feed. Maurer shoots just wide to the right. And it's controlled by Lakowiecki in the box. Lakowiecki, long lead. Schlotthauer is going to intercept that ahead to Maurer. Maurer. Left side to Kondrich, 8.25 left to play. Kondrich down in the corner, left side now, this time Maurer works. Now Randy Pikasinski. Randy, outside to Kondrich. Kondrich, inside Maurer, rebound, controlled by Lakowiecki, pinned it up against the boards. Long lead up the field for Fall. Schlotthauer trying to cut down the angle and took it away on the slide tackle. Ahead to, to Kondrich. Kondrich for Maurer. Maurer looking for a centering feed. There's a shot by Schlotthauer, knocked away by Mahalik. And Fall clears, but Maurer's going to outrun his man Mahalik to the ball, and Mahalik gets whistled for the fourth foul on Louisville. Or is it the third? Third foul on Louisville. Midfield circle is Paxos, 7.50 left. Paxos fires, Lakowiecki with a diving save to his right. Long lead comes to Fall. It's too far for him, and Swanner will wait for it in the Canton in. 5-3, Louisville with the lead, and Mater's putting the pressure on. Swanner, lead ball, midfield, left side, Rudy Pikasinski. Now Bob Bosmeyer clears it up the right. Bosmeyer for Kia, knocked away by Bakhtiari. Team is shot, blocked by Gabera. Bosmeyer shots in the stage. 7.26 on the clock, 5-3, Louisville. Three goals by Hayes, two by Savick for Louisville. Rudy Pikasinski, Mike Paxos, and Kia have scored for Canton. There's a timeout on the field. Louisville 5, Canton. Right now, the Invaders have a two-goal deficit to climb out of. They haven't been any closer than two since early in the second period. And Louisville has come out and played very well tonight, but now the Invaders are trying to come back. They are mounting with some good offensive pressure. And Louisville has been content lately to back up in their own end and try to withstand the storm. The other thing you're wondering, down two in a championship game, how long will they wait to go to the sixth attacker? 7.27 left to play. Bakhtiari tips it back in the goal box, and A.J. Lakowiecki has it for Louisville. A.J. looks once, looks twice, and puts the ball back down on the floor. Lead to midfield, headed away by Pisano. Helen Camp had it for a second. Bosmeyer ahead to Kia. Kia leaves it for Rudy. Rudy back to the net in the corner, taps it outside the double team and gets it back out to Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer, midfield circle, Tima. I had to pick Kaczynski. Rudy back to Vossmeyer. Vossmeyer lost his balance, ball taken away by Savick, but Tima is there to cut down the angle and sweep it around for Swanner, who clears it ahead again for Tima left side. 6.49 left in the game. Here is Tima ahead for... Pikasinski, he's looking inside, knocked away by Surrey and then by Bakhtiari, and coming up the floor with it is Gabera. Gabera down the left side, heels it for Hill and Camp, his pass is intercepted by Vosmeyer. Vosmeyer ahead for, for Pikasinski. Rudy back to the net in the corner out of the double team, balls up in the air, Vosmeyer heads it back to midfield for Pisano. 6.24 left to play. Invaders trail by two. Here is Tima, now Kia. Kia trying to move between a couple of men. Does. Leaves it for Vossmeyer, cutting down to the left side. Vossmeyer heals it for Tima. His shot is blocked up and out of play by Saeed Bakhtiari. It'll be a corner kick from the right side with 6-11 left in the game. Invaders set play time. Historically, they've had good success on these. They need some right now. They trail by two. This is the championship game. It all boils down to this. 6-11 left. Vossmeyer to put the ball in play. Centering ball knocked wide by Rudy. Pisano steers it out for Tima. Left side, key is shot and a save by A.J. Lakowiecki. Long lead, too far, three-line violation. 
And Invaders quickly up to put it in play. Bossmeyer surveys the situation and dumps it over for Rudy. He's hammered by Surrey. Tima and Rudy still down. And Steve Morris comes out on the field. Oh, Tima's going to get two minutes. Rudy Pikasinski got nailed from behind in the box. They did not even call a foul on the play. Tima says something to the referee and gets two minutes. Time of the penalty, 9.05 of the fourth quarter. Louisville. Rudy is still down. He is bleeding from the head. Tima gets two minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct. They also gave him a yellow for dissent, but there'll be no time penalty served on that. And if uh, Dr. Macknick thinks this is the great officiating he was talking about the other night, I will disagree completely. Rudy just got assaulted. If that had happened in a back alley, the guy would be in jail. And there wasn't even a foul called on it. I mean, Surrey really gave him a shot from behind, and Rudy is bleeding pretty bad down there. All over the left side of his face, up from the forehead. And uh, as a result, Louisville is going to get a two-minute power play. I'm sorry, that's not right. They're 0 for 3 on the power play tonight. Rudy is up, and apparently they've got the bleeding stop. He's all right. Yeah, I, I would bet you'll see him back. Team is in the box for two. Boy, I'm sorry. I don't agree with that. Okay, change the penalty on team to ungentlemanly conduct. What was Surrey doing? The crowd's upset. Invaders shorthanded. Ball takes Frick down. No call. Now we do get it from the other side. The guy right on top of the play didn't call it. Louisville on the power play. Lakowecki sends it ahead for Savick. The Invaders trail by two. Ball bounced off Bossmeyer. Off his chest, and they call that a handball. That's the fifth foul on Canton. That didn't come any closer to his hand than a foot. Five forty-three left in the game. A minute forty-eight in the penalty. Savick outside to Helen Camp. Back to Savick. He shoots. It's blocked by Condrich. Savick sweeps it back to Helen Camp. Helen Camp for Gabera. Gabera dumps it back to Fall at midfield. And again to Gabera. Gabera down the left side. Bossmeyer and Randy there to greet him. Now outside it comes to Fall. Fall headed away by Condrich. Frick in a race with Helen Camp at midfield. Helen Camp will get there to Savick. Savick dumps it back to Fall. Ahead to Amlong. Bossmeyer deflected it away and took it away from Gabera. Minute 14 in the penalty as Condrich clears the zone. Invaders on the counter. Condrich ahead for Frick. Frick knocked it away from Lakowacki. Got hit by Lakowacki. It goes out of play. And it'll belong to Canton with 5.02 in the game and a minute seven left in the Invader penalty. Condrich will put it in play for Canton. Tom Condrich out front. Frick put it in the stage. Minute six left in the uh, penalty. And we've got a whistle and a foul. And that's the sixth foul on Canton. 
on Randy Pikasinski. So Louisville will go up by two men for a minute one. time of this penalty will be 15.04, or rather 10.04. So the sixth foul violation will put the invaders down now until a little under three minutes left in the game. Right now they're down by two. And Louisville has a two-goal lead. Helen Camp, right side to Savick, up front Gabera. Helen Camp with a shot, hits the glass wide to the right. And Frick knocked it away for a second, trying to get away from Savick. And that should be obstruction on Savick, and it is. And that should be four or five on Louisville. Here comes Condrich, ball knocked away. Oh, we got a three break, three men breaking on the goalkeeper for Louisville and Long. Oh, and that pass knocked it away from Gabera. And Bossmeyer controls for Camp, and the Invaders just dodged the bullet. Up the field, Lakowacki clears it now for fall. 23 in the first camp penalty, a minute 22 in the other one. There's a shot, no, as it's knocked wide by Amlong. Centering ball through the front of the crease, no one there. And here is fall with it, 4.08 left in the game. Louisville five, Canton three. Shot, Swatter with a kick save. And Frick has it for Canton. Bossmeyer had it knocked away and taken back by Amlong. Swatter with a save. And Steve Frick with it for the invaders. Steve Frick on the attack for Canton. Nobody marking team. A Frick shot now. Lakowacki with the rebound. And coming up the floor with it now for Gabera. First penalty is over. 343 left in the game. 46 in the penalty. And ahead it comes. It's Gabera. Ball knocked away by Condridge and taken by Frick. Invaders still trail by two. Final game of the championship series. And here comes Tim Tima. And now Condridge. Condridge. Left side for Pisano. His shot is blocked by Savick. And Rudy Pikasinski back in off the bench. Here's Pisano moving inside. Well, Oscar fires no. Rebound out behind Rudy. Fall gets it for Louisville. Now Orhan. And it's dumped to midfield. Swanner out after it. Ten seconds in the penalty. Tima with a move around Savick. 3.03 left in the game. Down into Rudy. Cato stepped in front. Rudy fights to get it back to Pisano. Taken down. Oscar tripped. But he couldn't get away from the man. And here comes Cato. Team's back at full strength. Swanner will take it in the goal box and call timeout and will go to the sixth attacker with 2.48 left in the game. Timeout on the field, score. Louisville five, Canton three, back after this. Can they do it? Stay right here, we'll let you know. Final game, it all comes down to this. Sixth attacker unit, Pisano is the man in the goalkeeper's shirt. He's there with Slothauer, with Maurer, with Vossmeyer. Rudy Pikasinski and Kia. Pikasinski was cut up a little earlier, but he's okay now. Here comes Pisano across midfield. Left side, Schlotthauer, 240 in the game. Walter lets it go up front. Shot just wide. Rebound just through the crease by Pikasinski. And a two-minute penalty coming up on Cato. They finally got him. There should have been two earlier on the play on Surrey. And now they get Cato. And the Invaders will have, in effect, a two-man advantage with a sixth attacker with 2.33 left in the game. Hang on to your seats. This thing isn't over yet. Cato is very upset, as anybody would be in this crucial of a game when you're the guy that gets the penalty called on you. But Cato will get the holding call. Time of the penalty, 12.27. And the Invaders, 0 for 2 on the power play tonight. They will get a chance again, but none bigger than this one. Sixth attacker and the power play. 5-3 is our score. Don't go away yet. Bossmeyer to put it in play for Canton. Just to the left of the box. Bossmeyer looks through the middle, and Hayes clears the rebound the length of the floor. So Pisano's going to have to chase that one back in his own end. And they'll start up again. Minute 52 in the penalty, 225 in the game. Pisano up across the midfield line into the Louisville zone. 
Left side, Slothauer. He winds, he fires, rebound, comes out to Maurer. Now Pisano, he shoots, and Lakowecki scoops it up. Lakowecki, long lead, this could be trouble. Tom Hayes shoots, he scores. And Louisville leads by three, six to three. Hayes had gotten behind the defense. And Louisville leads by three with 2.07 left in the game. Hayes has scored four goals tonight. Two in the fourth quarter. This one comes at 12.53. And Lakowecki has his second assist of the night. That is a shorthanded goal. And it's 6-3 Louisville. We're back underway, and Louisville will dump at the length of the floor, but that one's going to be a three-line violation. And now a minute 57 left as Canton with a sixth attacker and the power play. Minute 24 in the penalty, but now they need three goals. Vossmeyer, right side to Pisano. Pisano looks, fires, Kia scores! play goal, Kia from Vosmeyer. That makes it 6-4. The time of the goal is 13.07. And there's a minute 53 left in the game. That takes care of the penalty on Cato. He comes out. The invader still with a sixth attacker. A minute 53 now, still needing two goals. Louisville, the team just scored upon, will control the kickoff. And Savic will drop it back to Surrey ahead for Gabera. Gabera and Savic clear in the zone. Shot no. Pisano kicks it free to Vosmeyer. And the invaders come back the other way. Vosmeyer stops along the boards while Gabera clears by. A minute 40 left in the game. Louisville by two. Push up the right side to Pisano. Pisano working against Savic. Middle of the floor it comes to Vosmeyer. Vosmeyer right side to Pisano. Pisano. Maurer right corner. Ball knocked out of play by Hayes with a minute 27 left to go. Canton will kick it in from the right side. It'll be Vossmeyer to put it in play. Bobby Vossmeyer in the corner. Centering ball from Maurer. It's blocked and comes out to Pisano. Pisano trying to get inside Savick. He shoots and it's blocked up front by Surrey. Minute 19 left. Slothauer's shot deflected up and out of play. And that hit who last? Are they going to give that a goal kick? Yep. Goal kick for Louisville as they either hit Maurer or Rudy. And with a minute 15 left, Louisville will be able to chew some more time off on the goal kick. They lead by two, six to four. And this is the final game of the championship series. Lakowacki sends it long. Maurer heads it back. And Gabera can't get to it. Now he does. Knocked away by Vosmeyer. And Lakowacki out of the net. Knocked it to Kia. Can they get it through the middle? Trying to get it to Maurer. No, it comes into Lakowacki. We've got one minute left in the game. Surrey with a push against Vossmeyer and we'll go back the other way 57 seconds here is Maurer they need a quick goal here they need two goals in under a minute Pisano through the midfield circle that's also five fouls on Louisville Schlothauer's shot blocked out of play by Gabera with 46 seconds left 6-4 Louisville Hayes has scored four goals for the Thunder tonight it's a shame a couple of them were before some of the ballots were turned in for MVP, because he might have gotten a couple. Schlothauer in the zone. Shot blocked by Gabera, and Savick comes away with it. Savick, ball knocked away by Pisano, and Oscar's going to get a two-minute handball. And there's not really any question about that one. Oscar didn't have much choice. If he didn't do that, Savick was going to have a breakaway. So with 37 seconds left, the invaders will leave the extra attacker in, but they'll go down a man. And now Swanner comes back off the bench. Time of the penalty on Pisano will be 14.23. Handball on Oscar. He had to reach around Savick because if he didn't, Savick would have had a breakaway. Things don't look good. 37 seconds left. And Louisville on top, 6-4. to four. And the Invaders have just had a two-minute penalty called on them. Trophies will be presented down below at the end of the game. The Invaders' two-year streak as champions precariously close to ending here. 
Only 37 seconds left and they need a pair of goals. They have fought back valiantly from a two goal deficit. But whenever Louisville has needed the big goal, they've come up with it and Hayes has been the guy that's done it. Swanner is back in the net for Canton. And who's going to serve the penalty on Pisano? It'll be Maurer in the box. Pikasinski, Kia, Tima, and Kondrich on the floor for Canton. Left side, Bakhtiari. Rudy on him. 30 seconds left in the game. Surrey at midfield. Ball poked by Kia, taken by Kia. Kia up the left side, ahead to Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy with a shot blocked by Bakhtiari. And Savick taps it out to midfield, just 20 seconds to go. Number one, number two, number three. And it's dumped over the glass and out of play with 13 seconds left in the game. MVPs voting in order, Tom Hayes, number one, A.J. Lakowiecki, number two, and Zoran Savick, number three. 12 seconds left. Pisano back on as the extra attacker. Dumps it in. Blocked by Helen Camp. Six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. It's over. And the Louisville Thunder has won the AISA championship, defeating the Canton Invaders at the Civic Center. Six to four. And they win the series three games to two. Fans up on their feet to salute a valiant effort by their invaders that came up just a little short. So the trophy goes to Louisville. And we'll be back to wrap it up in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, for two championship series, and for one fine third season, let's hear it for the Canton Invaders. win at the Civic Center. A superlative first half effort by Louisville. As they built up a 3-0 lead, they stretched it to 4-0. The Invaders, a valiant comeback in the second half that fell just short. Scoring went like this. In the first uh, period, 13-54. Zoran Savick, the goal. Caleb Surrey picked up the assist. And Louisville led 1-0. That's the way the first quarter ended. In the second... You have supported your Canton Invaders through two seasons of AISA champions, and they were well deserved. <laughs> By virtue of their performance in today's game, the AISA champions for 1986-87. They put the Invaders on the board at 847. 
But then, just a minute later, Tom Hill. and 24 for Canton. Goalkeeper saves 12 for Swanner and 10 for A.J. Lakowiecki. We come back with a closing comment after this. 14. Sweep Memphis in the semifinals, but they come up just shy in the championship series, losing it to the Louisville Thunder. It went the distance. Three games to two, Louisville takes it. And the Invaders falling six to four tonight. Rudy Pikasinski, Mike Paxos, two goals for Kia. The scoring for Canton. Four goals for Tom Hayes and two for Zoran Savick. Outstanding effort by Hayes for Louisville. Couple of them on breakaways. And the Thunder wins the championship. The Invaders come back out on the field for a curtain call and their fans acknowledge them. Invaders Awards Banquet will be a week from last Friday, May the 1st, at the New Market Hilton. Tickets still available for that, and we hope you'll all be there to honor them. They didn't win it all this year, but uh, they certainly showed the same class and the same skill and everything else that we've become used to seeing from the Canton Invaders. We've enjoyed this season. We're glad we could bring it to you. We look forward to next year when we hope the Invaders can bring the championship back to Canton. That wraps up the season for the Canton Invaders as they fall in the final game of the Louisville Thunder. All of tonight's action brought to you by the Pizza Palace, the Ohio Health Choice Plan, United Bank, and the Ohio Lottery. Bob Bishop saying so long for the final time this season from the Civic Center. The final score, the AISA champion Louisville Thunder 6 and the Canton Invaders 4. Good night, everybody.